Did you know that in many developing countries, mobile phones are more available than water and electricity? The rapid growth of mobile phones, their easy use and affordability, makes them a great tool to leverage access and quality of healthcare services. Mobile health apps are being used for services such as patient education, remote consultation, crowdsourcing, and electronic health records. However, their implementation in developing countries remains slow. The literature urges for the need to creating a viable ecosystem for the sustainability and scalability of mobile health initiatives. Weak health systems and lack of financial support are the main factors that undermine their implementation. Angola, a country located in southwest Africa, has no established market for mobile health solutions. With a forecast of 72% mobile phone subscriptions by 2023 and a very young population, 65% below 24 years old, the country offers a promising future for mobile health initiatives. We are analyzing the healthcare system of Angola to understand what are the possibilities of creating a viable environment for the implementation of mobile health solutions. We're also looking to what are the best business models to operate and help applications in developing countries. We conduct a scoping review to learn lessons from Kenya, which is a global leader in mobile solutions, and Denmark, the first country in the world to adopt the Continua Health Alliance Standard, which is a robust framework for implementing telehealth nationwide. Denmark has a strong digital health platform that allows the connectivity between mobile health apps allows their integration into the current healthcare structure and eliminates islands of isolated information. In Kenya, Mamakiba, a for-profit mobile health app, allows expectant mothers to save money for outpatient and maternity care services. The lessons learned from our studies can inform government, tech developers, the telecommunication industry and stakeholders in deploying mobile health apps in Angola and other developing countries. Thank you.